time for a bit of a mystery game. Well, not so much of a mystery if you read the title and you, you know, spend time in the Discord. We're going to go for Skies of Arcadia Legends because why the hell not? And uh, I haven't played this game since, like, I don't know, 2004 or something. Um, I played the Dreamcast version with somebody and they played a little bit whilst I wasn't even there. Not much, I didn't miss much, you know. But, uh, yeah, this game doesn't exactly emulate perfectly on the Dreamcast, so we're going to use my modded Wii U and we're going to play the GameCube version of Skies of Arcadia Legends, which is basically exactly the same except it has more content. I'm in, and we haven't played an RPG on this channel for, well, 758,000 years at least. So let's go. If you're going to start with an RPG, let's start with a good one, right? Let's do it. Now, <laughs> I can't really remember uh, a huge amount about this game. I mean, I, I, I remember enough uh, to play it. I remember there's a, quite a lot to it, and it's a very unique game. It's a wonderfully unique game. It's a game that has literally stuck with me forever. Like, I've never been able to forget this game. One of my favorite RPGs of all time, uh, quite easily. The age of exploration has dawned upon the world of Arcadia. Brave adventurers set sail across the vast skies in search of treasures untold. And where there is treasure, there will be air pirates. Steampunk, yo. And it's delicious. Okay, Skies of Arcadia Legends. Now, the resolution is lower than the Dreamcast version, unfortunately, so they have changed some of the text, but it's not a huge thing. This game is definitely unique. All right. Yeah, this game has quite a lot of unique elements to it. Um, you can build a base and spend money on upgrading said base. You have your standard combat affair, you know, like you do in all RPGs. Yet you have ship-to-ship -ship combat in this as well. Yes, really, it's fucking awesome. You have epic boss battles you have an interesting cast of characters as well uh the music's pretty damn good the fact that we never got a sequel for this game is absolutely unacceptable it i don't know man the creator of this game actually really wants to remake the game i was looking into this the other day only last year he was expressing his interest in remaking the game uh or making a sequel which apparently he's always wanted to do but it's in sega's hand so hey microsoft if you could like buy sega and you know put them to work on that that'd be great uh anyway skies of arcadia legends so main differences between this and the dreamcast version this it's lower resolution on the gamecube but it does run smoother and it's got a lot of extra 
um, items and discoveries and things because, you know, we're in a ship sailing around the sky. Of course, there's discoveries to be made uh, and we can earn money doing said things. Uh, not a huge amount of playable characters in this game, but there's enough. Uh, it's got an interesting combat system, which is kind of like semi real time, which we'll get into that later on. Um, and it also has a unique magic system, which we'll also get into uh, as we go. Anyway, let's go. Skies of Arcadia Legends. My god, it's been almost 20 years. Please select whether or not you wish to enable the controller's rumble feature. Uh, sure. The rumble feature has been enabled. Uh, there is an awful lot of uh, reading out in this game. There's going to be lots of it. Uh, kind of an unfortunate side effect of ye olde RPGs. Uh, yeah. But we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do the best we can. Okay. The rumble feature may be toggled on or off at any time from the options menu within the game. Wonderful. This game is also very, 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 very expensive. That's why we're playing a ROM on my Wii U. Ha <laughs> ha We finally found her! Admiral Alfonso, her ship is in range of our cannons. Excellent! Prepare the con to fire concussion shells on my command to avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Fire! Zelda, is that you? It's not. Your Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. <laughs> the Empress will be very pleased with me. I'm sure to be rewarded rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where did that come from? It sounded like an explosion. Status report, now. The, the lower hole has been hit. Somebody is attacking us. <gasps> attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? There's a small ship hiding in the clouds off the port side. The, the flag? Air pirates! Pirate scum! Don't you know that we're value, value and imperial soldiers? <clears throat> of course I know! That's why we attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. I'm Vise of the Blue Rogues, and in a few minutes I'll be relieving you of your, all your valuables. I'm gonna call him Vise. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's called Vise. I've always called him Vise. I don't care if his name's pronounced differently. 
<laughs> attacking us all by yourself. You're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. We'll be tossing you overboard. Wait for me! Vice, you left without me. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, hi. I'm Ika. I'm a blue rogue, like Vice. And we're robbing you. <laughs> yep, so this is Ika and Vice. They are the two main characters. Again, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce her name. I don't really care if it isn't. Um, there's also a very cool statue of her coming out this year, I believe. Early this year. Uh, it's that company that does all the horrendously expensive statues. Um, I can't think what they're called now. The name escapes me. But I was like, oh shit, let me have a look. Yeah, it's like £500, so, you know, maybe not. You dare mock the Valiant Empire with your insolence? Kill them and toss their corpses over the side. Ah, oh, the music! The music! So we can attack, we can use special moves, we have magic as well, or we can focus. So if we focus, see that bar above Visor's head, uh, that will fill up. And you can actually use those points to execute super moves. Each super move requires a certain amount of that uh, energy. Uh, the energy bar does increase as your levels increase and blah blah blah. But for now, we're going to take these guys on. Uh, if we push the Y button, you can see we can actually change the color of our blade. There are six different colors, each one corresponding with a particular school of magic. We're going to kind of get everyone to focus on their own school of magic. Red, I believe, is fire. So, uh, Vase can stay with that. Now, Ika, she has... Bluish, bluey green. Um, that's yeah, that's green. That's like healing magic. So we're gonna leave over that for now. <clears throat> this music is amazing, by the way. Now, one big difference to this over the Dreamcast version: the random battles have been humongously toned back. In the Dreamcast version, you could only step one or two steps forward before getting into combat. Uh, they dialed it back humongously for the Legends version, but they offset it by each ex um, encounter, giving you much more experience. Which I actually prefer that. Bison and Ica, level one. All right. So we get gold and uh, we also get magic experience as well, as you can see there. So we can level up our magic. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I can't exactly 100% remember how the magic system works. It looks like we get a little bit of magic experience for everybody. I thought you only got magic experience or the particular crystal that you have. Maybe that's something they changed in the Legends version. I'm not sure. There's no point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbeciles! What do the two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take him out. Dine. I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad! We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out here, remember, it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Captain. Hey, Ika. Shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? I'm ready when you are. All right. Let's go find the bridge. Let's go. Let's fucking go. And here the game starts kind of properly. There are treasure chests, because of course there is. That's a sacred crystal that uh, is basically a potion in this game. You'll notice we've got a map as well. The map will draw. It's kind of like an auto map as we go through. God, it's so weird. We would have been in about 36 battles by now if this was the Dreamcast version. I am disappointed. Oh. 
Alfonso. Well, well. Air pirates have decided to infest my ship. I am Alfonso, cherished son of Valia's most distinguished family, and an admiral of the Imperial Marder. Normally, lowlifes such as yourself would never have the opportunity to bask in such greatness. Consider yourselves fortunate. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? Never thought someone of your stature would stoop to kidnapping. Ha! You're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have you exterminated like the pests you are. Dispose of them. Ah, oh, music. Music. Yeah, the music isn't emulated properly. Unfortunately, on Redream. Now, one thing that is quite cool is, although it's clearly turn-based, um, your characters will run around and, um, you know, animate combat amongst themselves when they're not being used, which is really cool. I do like that feature. It's not quite, um, it's not quite as interesting, I would say, as something like uh, Grandia 2. That had a wicked combat system. And that is a game that we're going to get to eventually, one day. Grandia 2 is probably one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast. Now, I never played Grandia 1, which was a PlayStation 1 RPG. That was easy. Job done. Flush them, boys. Hey, we've leveled. Excellent. Lots more health, lots more stats. Lovely. Yeah, so apparently... Ah, she's learned Sacri. So I guess we get um, magic experience for all schools of magic, which is interesting. All right, let's go. I want to have a quick look around here because there are some chests to collect. I think there's four of them on this. Hey, we've got some more Sacri crystals. Cool. So there's no mana in this game, I don't think, from what I can remember. Uh, I think everything is done. Oh, no, there is mana. I'm talking out my bum. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Quickly wipe the floor with these guys. Whilst we sit here and enjoy the music. Now, there's lots of things to actually do when we get out of here. And there's a lot more to do than there was in the original Dreamcast version, apparently. Ike is kind of down to yellow health, but that's fine. Not looking so good for you, is it, buddy? Ooh, critical! I say, as he backhands Vise like a bitch. Well, we critical him back, so swings and roundabouts, I guess. Is it over already? Ranked up in red, nice. Hey, we learned Pyrie, that's cool. So we've got a little bit of magic now, which is fine. I don't think we can go through these doors. It is pretty much point to point. So there's the idiots over there. Ah, there's a chest. We can't get that chest just yet. I think we have to go, yeah, up and over. I think there's four chests. I think I already said that. Yep. What? How did you defeat my soldiers? Ah, if you want my ship that badly, you can have it. No, I'll get another. I'm very busy. I do not have time to deal with you personally. So if you'll excuse me. Yeah, piss off, buddy. I'll see you later. Open you up like a can of beans with my cutlass. More grunts. And we can try some magic out here as well. Like we've got Pyrie and... Oh, we can't use Sacri for some reason. Maybe we don't have enough mana. 
There's quite a few spells in this game. There's definitely enough. Oh, right. So, yeah. Yeah, magic is powerful. That wasn't so bad. So, I guess it does also use um, that green bar to execute magic as well. I think it's a spirit bar or something. Can't remember exactly what that's called. Anyway, let's go grab some goodies. 50 gold! Well, I mean, 50 gold is 50 gold, I suppose. Uh, do we want to heal up? Maybe. How many crystals do we got? We've got three crystals. They heal 500 health. So, at the moment, each one of those is basically a complete full restore. It will not stay that way. No. The ship is epic as well. I mean, free ship. Can't really knock free ship. <clears throat> Especially something like this. Seems to be a little bit of an upgrade. Now, if we have to do any grinding or anything like that, which I'm pretty sure we won't... I don't remember this being a very grindy game, but if we do, I'll handle such things off camera. Now, we do have to go on a hell of an adventure in this game, involving uh, red crystals and such. Okay. Not looking so good for Ica over there. She'll be fine. Nice. Those counter attacks look like they're a one hit kill, which is great. <laughs> that was easy. You're not wrong, buddy. Hey, and we've not quite leveled. Or have we leveled? Not quite. No. Should level next turn. Apparently, we can go down to zero experience and not level. That's interesting. Uh, can we go through the door? We can go through the door. This is good. We like going through doors. Hey, magic droplets. They're basically ethers. They will restore our magic um, powers. So, memory cards. Lovely. Let's do it. Not bad. Right, let's continue, shall we? Uh, oh, we can go this way. Can we go through this door? Ah, you'll never get through this door. I've locked it from this side. Oh, Alfonso. Oh. So long, rogue. You've thought of everything, I see, Mr. Alfonso. I have to take the long way round. Hopefully he doesn't have like a giant battle beast or something waiting for us. Look at this ship, man. Can't believe he's just giving this to us. Right. I guess we'll just take the second door. Stupid bastard. Your Excellency, the sun is up and visibility is good. The preparations for your escape have been complete. Good work. I have finished my preparations as well. Preparations to dispose of a traitor. Uh, what? But please, Your Excellency, what, what are you doing? I cannot tell the Empress that I lost my ship to the air pirates in a fair fight. I'm going to need a scapegoat, and you all do quite nicely. To keep my glorious reputation from being tarnished, you must be sacrificed. N no, you, you can't do this. Yeah! Well, I guess he can. Even in death, he'll serve me well. I can't wait to tell the Empress. But Empress, my own vice captain betrayed us and allowed the air pirates on board. I could do not but dispose of the traitor myself. So this is how Valia treats its people. What? And now we've taken control of your ship, we'll be taking the girl as well. There's just one more thing I need to do. After seeing you kill an unarmed man in cold blood, I can't allow you to walk away from this. Draw your blade, Alfonso. Ah, 
An uncivilized rogue such as yourself wants to challenge me. You aren't worth my effort, but perhaps you'd like to meet one of my pets. Come, Antonio. Yeah, this is actually kind of a rough first boss. What? What is that thing? He's my personal war beast. I was going to leave him here, but it seems I found a use for him after all. Antonio, trample the pests and make their deaths as painful as possible. <laughs> Cheers, pal. Oof. Yeah, this one is a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more to this battle, the first boss. Uh, we're going to go straight for an attack. And you know what? Let's focus up some energy. Let's build that gauge up. Yeah, 46. It's not good. It's really not good. Oh, nice. That's quite a lucky miss, actually. Uh, special moves. Cutlass Fury. It takes seven. Oof. Right, okay. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep attacking for now. Just attack. That spirit bar will build. Over time, anyway. So, oh, okay. That, yeah, it doesn't do... Ooh, thunder of Fury. Yeah, this hurts. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that hurts. Right, Cutlass Fury. And Ica, uh, have you got any items? You've got Sacred Crystals. Go through these, one of those. Let's try this. That'll do. That'll do. That's our first ultimate move. And it's not bad. Certainly uh, as a somewhat decent power output, I guess. Right, so we're back up to two. Need to be careful, Viker. Yeah, she's back in the yellow. Damn it. Alright, so he's half health. Ooh, critical hit. Oh, that's not good. Iker, it's probably going to be okay. Probably. Uh, let's go for another round of attack. Oh, critical. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. I didn't realize she was that low on health, actually. Yeah, attack phase, please. No. Oh, that's okay. A standard attack shouldn't drop her. All right. Right, dude. Uh, you are going to have to attack. You help yourself to the last crystal. Let's try this. That'll do nicely. Kill it! Yeah, we should be able to finish it off in the next turn. Oof. Oh, good. Good thing that we uh, got her that healing power. That healing crystal. Otherwise, that would have been rough. Right, okay. So, special move. Finish him. Should take him out. There we go. Get out of here. Oof. Actually burnt it to death. Savage. Yeah, alright. Calm down, Ica. That was pretty, uh... That's a pretty hollow victory. We just killed his pet. Oh, wow. Two level ups for Vise. <laughs> nice. Hey, and we learned Pyrie as well. And we got a Moonberry. Moonberries are important. Um, they allow us to learn new moves. Bah! Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Well, Vise of the Blue Rogues, you'll rue this day. The day you stood against the Valiant Empire. We shall meet again. Can't we just, like, cut his neck whilst he prepares to launch? Uh, I guess not. You coward. What kind of commander sacrifices his own men 
and his ship to run from a fight. Yes, what indeed. Well, even though he was a coward, he was a coward with gold. True. I suppose that ship and everything on it officially belongs to us now. We haven't had a catch this big for quite some time. The people back home are going to be impressed. And look at this girl. I've never seen anybody dressed like that before. Never played Zelda? Okay. You're right. She sure doesn't look like she's from around here. I wonder why Valio was trying to kidnap this girl in the first place. Hmm. I wonder where she's from. This place. Am I... Yeah, am I home? Fina? Fina, you replace Rami, the moon, elder. However, watch yourself. Do not allow trust. Elder. How is she, Vyze? Hmm, her breathing's more regular now. I think she'll be alright. <laughs> Not really what you want to wake up to, but hey, sure. Hey! Look, she's coming too. Where, where am I? You're aboard our ship, the Albatross. I'm Vase, don't worry. There aren't any Valiant troops around, so you'll be safe here. It, yes, uh, thank you very much. Ha, you don't need to thank us. The Blue Rogues are always there to help people. <laughs> Aww. My name is Ika. It's nice to meet you. Hey, could you tell us uh, your name? My name, my name is Fina. All oh, right, so there's there's choices here that we can make. Uh, if you say the wrong thing, uh, your rank actually goes down. Um, there are several ranks. Uh, I'll explain that in the next video. But um, it's basically a score, and it changes how people react to you as well, which is kind of interesting. So, so where are you from exactly? Uh, Baze. She just woke up. You don't need to start interrogating her right away. See, now she's scared. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean any harm. Uh, excuse me, but I have a question. What exactly is an air pirate? I guess I said the wrong thing. What? You were out sailing all by yourself and you don't even know what air pirates are? Oh, I... I'm sorry, it's my first time traveling. Basically, air pirates are sailors that attack other ships and steal their cargo. <laughs> A attack? <laughs> you don't have to worry about us. We're blue rogues. See, air pirates are divided into two factions. The blue rogues and the black pirates. The black pirates will attack anything in the sky, especially merchant vessels and unarmed ships. However... We Blue Rogues only take cargo from armed ships, especially the Imperial Armada. We rob from the rich and keep the gold. <laughs> I like that. But we use the gold to save people that need our help. Aww. That's why we helped you. Don't worry, we aren't trying to kidnap you or anything. Just relax and enjoy the trip. Um, sure. Vase, Ika, how long are you going to sit there chit-chatting? Come to the bridge. Now! Oh no, I completely lost track of time. Oh well, I guess that means we have to go. Alright, Fina, we'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Yeah, your secret mission isn't exactly going too well, is it, Fina? Um, okay. We have members on board this ship. Luke the Raider. Hey, guys. That raid earlier was pretty good. It's been a while since we raided a Valiant ship. If you're wondering what we did with the Valiants, well, they heard their fearless leader abandon ship. Oh, when they heard their fearless leader abandon ship, they surrendered. Captain Dune just let them go. Though, 
Well, after we took their treasure, of course. And there was a lot of it. We'll take what we can, but we only fight when we need to. That's what separates us blue rogues from the black pirates. Yeah, something like that. So, what have we got in here? We can explore the ship, which is kind of cool. Visually, this game's held up pretty well, actually. Why we never got a HD remaster of this game, I don't know, to be honest. Kind of like a humongous missed opportunity, if you ask me. Uh, there was also a mini game that you could play uh, on the Dreamcast VMU, which obviously is difficult to do these days. <laughs> so, one of the main mini games of collecting extra treasure and stuff, you can't actually do. Um, but, luckily, they've kind of integrated all that into the game in this version. Which, again, is why we're playing this version. You're late, FaZe. I told you that you need to be on time for your shift. You know the routine. Swap the decks, and they better be clean. But, Dad, I was only a little late. On a ship, being a little late can cost lives. And one more thing. While we're on board, it's not Dad, it's Captain. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We're heading home to Pirate Island. Go report to Briggs. See if he needs you for anything. Ugh, Dad. Such a dick. Briggs, the vice captain. Oh, there you are, guys. You finally decided to join us on the bridge, huh? Well, we're heading home back to Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle is southwest from here. Just head south first, and it's just past the Valley of Islands. Head south through the Valley of Islands. Aye, aye. All right, let's get moving. Full speed to Pirate Isle. So this is where the game basically opens up. Kind of. Not quite, but almost. Before we set sail, do you have any questions that you wanted to ask me? How do I steer this thing? How do we get home from here? No, not really. Ah, we're fine. Well then, full speed ahead. Destination, Pirate Isle. So this is how we spend a lot of the game. This is the, quote, world map. And we can explore things. Make discoveries and all that good stuff. You found the pirate's grave. There's a discovery. Uh, pirate's grave. It appears that somebody has scribbled onto the stone. Here lies an unknown blue rogue. The actual name has been worn away by the wind, but the first letter, D, can still be made out. Nobody remembers who rests here. Wait, that's the legendary pirate's grave. Good job, FaZe. I'm sure the Sailor's Guild would be more than happy to pay, for you, pay you for making this discovery. Guild? Pay me for a discovery? Much of this world is uncharted and shrouded in legend. Ruins, strange creatures, all sorts of things are waiting to be discovered. Any major port city will have a sailor's guild. They pay explorers well for any information on discoveries that they've made. When you're flying through the skies and your compass starts spinning around rapidly, that means there's a discovery nearby. If you try searching the area, you'll probably find a discovery. Just head over to the Sailor's Guild afterwards and collect your reward. But the longer you wait, the greater chances somebody else will beat you to it. So you should visit the Guild as soon as you can, okay? Yeah, they say that, but nobody actually is going to steal your rewards. Uh, we're going to save it here anyway, because we're at the end of the game. I'm glad the game actually explained that to us as well. So we're going to save on a different... A lot. We're in the mid ocean. I might go back um, and choose a better option when we spoke to Fina just so we can get all of the good points, but I'll include that clip. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to go back and do that actually. Right, so sticking this on the end of the first video, let's get the actual, you know, proper correct response you're aboard our ship the albatross yeah blah 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 I'm vice blah 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 yeah it's kind of important <laughs> to get all these correctly sorted so yeah we want to say that's a great name because uh What's it called? The Swashbuckler Rating. And you know when you said the right thing, because you'll hear that effect. 
uh, Fina Hart, that's a great name. It's so, so feminine. Oh, God. Uh, really? You think so? Jeez, you try and compliment someone. Jeez, uh, you try and compliment someone and nothing. No reaction whatsoever. Ha ha ha, that wasn't much of a compliment. Looks like you've got a lot to learn about women. Oof. Ah, oh, she's chuckling and laughing. Um, excuse me, but I have a question. What exactly is an air pirate? Right, this is all the same stuff. So, I will see you guys in the next video.